we're going to be talking about Lego Star Wars today, specifically the prequel trilogy. Let's dive into some interesting looking minifigures. I'm not just talking about misprints like this guy right here. In 1999, LEGO began making Star Wars sets, which led to some interesting, like these pod racers right here, who are just pure nightmare fuel. Then we got Saboba, this gentleman right here. He was going for a candlestick-like pose in this minifig. He also hates losing just as much as he hates Jar Jar, for example, right here. Now my boy Darth Jar Jar, I mean Jar Jar, has some horrific looking headpiece. Oh no, not just one, many. The first Watu as well wasn't looking too fresh either, but for a guy that looks like everyone's uncle, he's doing pretty well. Now this guy isn't as nightmare fuel giving, but his price is. And for all of his screen time being contained in this one GIF. Geonosians aren't the drippiest looking creature, neither was their first minifigure. He's got a pretty chunky looking nose. They've only ever made one Zan Wessel minifigure, but I was wondering what the heck were they doing to this face paint? I won't be able to sleep tonight because of this. Then we got the very first toasted Anakin, who looks like he got in a fight with a ketchup bottle. Last, but surely not least, is one of my favorite Star Wars characters. I would give my whole life savings for a remake of this character, Kit Fisto. Looking pretty jacked in the cartoons, got some big eyes in the movies, but his figure does not do him any justice. I hope you guys liked the video. Please be sure to like and subscribe and comment below what you thought of this. Maybe I'll do the next trilogy or even cut into the Clone Wars, which is full of Nightmare Field minifigures.